have to be prepared to uh, uh, play without any given player. That's not unusual business. He's a good friend. Obviously, you want him out here, but that's business. This is the business of football. Sometimes these things happen. Cowboys fully expected that on Sunday, they were going to announce that they signed Elliott to an extension. It's not there yet. Very, very close. Zeke, do you expect to play Sunday? Uh, I have a deal. The 40-day holdout is over. The deal between Ezekiel Elliott and the Cowboys has been finalized. This roster is stacked. All of that would make Ezekiel Elliott the highest paid running back in the National Football League. Good morning and welcome to First Take. I'm Ross Gold on Woody, filling in for Molly Karam, and we have Damian Woody, Max Kellerman here. What's going on? Look at you. Tie, yes. nice, everything's good today. Well, I'm feeling good. I'm I mean, glad you took my instruction. No, yesterday. I feel like, you know, now with Zeke dropping, I'm gonna come you got special. reprimanded. Right. You thought I was a substitute <laughs> teacher. <laughs> reprimanded by who? And then you found out that actually the principal was in the building and now you wore a tie. Very good. Wait, okay, who, I'm gonna show you what the principal is about. Oh, he, he know what time. He know who it is. <laughs> Big and small right look, here. Yeah, that's right. He does look like. Does look like. <laughs> all right. Well, I like the tie. And we got some big news today. All the big news coming out of Big D. Finally, we've been mm -hmm. on Zeke Watch all preseason. And finally, Ezekiel Elliott and the Cowboys reached an agreement on a six-year, $90 million extension. And according to ESPN's Ed Werder, the deal has $50 million guaranteed. It's a shooting match right there. That's what you said was important yeah. the whole time. All right, well, with the two years remaining on his current contract, the agreement would tie him to the Cowboys through the 2026 season. So Zeke hit to Twitter to celebrate. Yeah, he's eating good now. <laughs> Zeke's new extension catapults him to the top of the list as the highest paid running back in football. It's a big day for Zeke and the Cowboys franchise. And guys, Max, I'll start with you. Yeah. Who won this deal? If you can even say that, Zeke or the Cowboys? Is this a trick question? This is this is not even a win with a unanimous decision. This is TKO. He won this thing with a knockout. Damien, this dude was not next up. He had two more years on his deal. He's not the best running back in the world. And he had two more years on his deal. And the Cowboys came out and said, we're not resetting the market. So let me get this straight. He didn't have to go to camp. <laughs> he shows up week one, no wear and tear, as the highest guaranteed money running back in the NFL after the Cowboys said they weren't going to do it. This is such a clear-cut win. I would love to hear you argue the other side. I can't even imagine what your argument is. Well, I am going to argue the other side because I think the Cowboys won this deal. Listen, Everyone, first of all, we, the devil is in the details with any type of contract situation. I know everyone's going to throw out, oh, the 50 million guarantee. We still need to know what the structure is of how they're going to pay that out because that is important. But, Max, let me give you some perspective on this, okay? Everyone, everyone talks about, you know, he beat Todd Gurley. Did you know that in 2011, Adrian Peterson signed for, had a 40 million guarantee? In 2011, that was eight years ago, Max. Eight years ago. Okay, as much as we talk about Zeke and what he signed for, the running back market is about as stagnant as it was back in 2011, and the salary cap has skyrocketed to this point. The Dallas Cowboys has Zeke locked up for eight years, and do you really think that Zeke is going to see those all eight, all eight years of this extension? Heck no. They're going to run Zeke into the ground. Now, they have signed their base of their whole offensive line, in, into like 20, 22, 23, but they're going to run Zeke into well, they're going to run Zeke into of the course. Ground. They're going to run Zeke into the ground. There's no way that Zeke is going to see any portion of the back end of this deal. No, so he got the 50 million guarantee. But, what I, but listen, fit. but what I'm it, it, what I'm saying is everyone talks about resetting the market again. Adrian Pearson got 40 million in, on, 2000, he, in 2011. Oh, that's okay, it's in 2011. The Cow Adrian, Adrian Pearson got 40 but million. But that's not the so Cowboys that, winning. That's just that's the devaluing Cowboys, of the running that's back Cowboys, position. Why is, why is it not the Cowboys First winning? First of all, is Ezekiel Elliott Adrian Peterson? Is he supposed to be the elite back that, we're, no. that everyone's talking about? No. But Adrian it, Peterson was here. Clear number one. Ezekiel Elliott's not number one. But he Max, might not be top three. But Max, we're talking eight years later. Eight years later, we're talking about one. More? Hold on, excuse me. Eight years later, Max, come on now. Eight years later, in 2011, he's only getting ten million dollars more guaranteed. Eight years later, okay. Max, eight how do you years like later, the years on the deal. What's that? How do you like the years on the deal? You, you, you have to give those years because you're two years that's away funny from the agency. That's funny money. He'll never see. Right, he'll why, never see any of right, that. That's why I never cared about the average annual value, the total deal. Like I don't pay attention to that. The only thing I care about when I see these deals is. 
What is the guaranteed dough? $50 million. He already signed a $16 million contract. He probably got about $10 million of that. So what we know about Ezekiel Elliott in an era where the running back position has been devalued over time, and I'm here to tell you he's not a top three back. In fact, game for game, like some of his durability and the fact that you get reliable returns with Ezekiel Elliott running through, you know, between the tackles, all that, I give him credit for that, no doubt. But game by game basis, I got five guys I'd take before him. And he's and he just made 60, he's probably going to see in his career minimum, $60 so, look, million. Dollars. So let me ask you a question. What running back means more to their team than Ezekiel Elliott? There's no that's other different, right. there's that's no, a different there's question. No, but that's right. a position of leverage in terms of where the Cowboys are, how they built their offense, the whole thing. Right. Right. I mean, the fact that it, what Ezekiel Elliott means to the Cowboys, and I just keep going back to this point, Max, the fact that in eight years, okay, the guarantee portion is only going up $10 million. So from the Dallas Cowboys standpoint, listen, we got our guy in. We got our guy back in camp right in time for the season opener. Okay. No wear and, and tear and on it, him. No wear and tear because he didn't have to go through training camp. And in the grand scheme of things, a little 50, 50 million? When Adrian Peterson got 40 back in 2011, you think wait, Dallas wait. Cowboys is looking at this over, over eight years? Here's a th- over I, eight years. I think you're changing the question because, look, no doubt teams where everyone criticizes teams for taking running backs up high, I've said, in fact, there's some wisdom. There's some, there's some you know, it's crazy like a fox. Because they give you production from year one, because you never really have to pay them, like he's going to make $60 million over his career, that'll be like the most that a running back gets. And considering his value, maybe that's still a deal. You don't have to pay for the decline. And by the time it's time to pay most of these guys, you go, well, your time's up as a running back. So there's some wisdom in juicing that position as the Cowboys have. But you're asking, is this was the deal won by Ezekiel Elliott or the Cowboys? The, the owners of the team said, we will not make him the highest paid back. He is two years out from free agency, and he ain't the best guy, and he just got $50 million guaranteed, which is the record. How can you say he didn't win this? Because He didn't even have to hold out of this game check. Because, again, Matt, listen, again, a lot of this depends on the structure. We, don't even, we, just hear, we just heard the 50 million guarantee. We don't know how it's paid out or any of that. So I think that's a big part of the puzzle here. But, again, I'm, I'm I just – give you 50 million guarantee. Do you I really believe, care about that? Yeah. How's the structure? How, what because kind of structure well, no, no, because there's, For me, yeah. there, I, it dep- there's a big difference between, okay, I'm getting 50, 50 million guarantee. Upon signing my contract, give me my money, as opposed to – 50 million guarantee where it's being spread out over a period oh, I'm of time. I'm quite sure it's being spread out over a period uh, that's of That's right. And you know what, what else could happen in that particular situation? We've seen Zeke in the past have incidents off the field, and guess what could what guess what could be in jeopardy um, in, in that particular situation? No. The mon- they guarantee money. Wait a minute. Okay. If Ezekiel Elliott can't behave off the field in a way that preserves his guaranteed money, that's on him. The bottom line is, I would have thought it's a win if he had to miss a couple of game checks and wound up as the second highest paid back. He missed zero game checks, reset the market. He won, brother. Zeke Elliott won. Do you guys trust Zeke over the course of eight years, character and behavior-wise? What has he done for me to trust him? I mean, he, listen, if, you, if you're if you habitual, you've had incidences time and time again throughout your, you know, your early part of your career, I'm in wait and see mode. No, I'm not going to trust you. And I'm pretty sure the contract is structured as such where the Dallas Cowboys are like, okay, if you mess it up, mm-hmm. then we're going to come back and get, and get some of that signing bonus, uh, signing bonus money. Yeah, the, Ezekiel Elliott, like if you heard Saquon Barkley's introductory pet press conference, you said, oh, my God, if this kid could throw. That's a franchise quarterback dressed up as a running back, the way he carried himself, everything. And it wasn't like this fake kind of PC football answer he's giving you. It was like Andrew Luck. You ask Saquon a question, he gave it to you from his heart, and it's exactly what you wanted to hear, right? And it was even nuanced. That is where you trust your money with a guy like that. Ezekiel Elliott is a riskier proposition unless you're talking about returns on the football field. Zeke gives you constant, reliable, predictable returns between the tackles. But he's not a top three guy, in your opinion. Not game for game. <laughs> not, not game for game. We will touch back on this topic throughout the show and also on the topic of Dallas. First Take is coming to Big D this Friday. Join us as we kick off the NFL season in style from Texas Live, just outside Jerry's World.